Well, we often have the sense that there are, um, well, basically that there's boundaries from one thing to the next, from boundaries between ourselves, whatever we take ourselves to be, and whatever we imagine is not us, the world, other people. And we have this sense of, basically this sense that somehow phenomena are separated from each other and that there's intrinsic to that separation that there's there's borders and boundaries around things and this of course is a perspective we're all quite familiar with when i say perspectives i mean you know experiential not just conceptual perspectives but we have this sense somehow that um that there's more than one thing here that this wholeness is somehow split up the wholeness of life and it appears that way in many respects but it's quite something to explore this other perspective which i'm often highlighting of we could say the undivided nature of this So I'm just going to invite you to explore that with me, to really begin to feel the way in which, from a certain vantage, nothing is closed. There's just openness, absolute openness. Maybe a good place to start in that exploration is just to feel whatever it is that's perceiving this moment, whatever's seeing this moment. Just feel that, that which is perceiving, that which is noticing, seeing, hearing. And notice how it's completely wide open the noticing, whatever it is, is seeing this moment is completely wide open, isn't it? There's absolutely no, no walls to that perceiving. There's no edges to that perceiving. It's just complete openness. As far as you can go, nothing but openness. It's interesting because there's also maybe a sense of it somehow being here, you know, localized, like, you know, the, the perceiving of this moment is sort of the, there's a center to it. And the center is, is here, me, <laughs> the subject, right? And just feeling that, even feeling your, what you might think of as your subjectivity, the center of this moment, the center of perceiving, and notice how completely wide open that is. Nothing closed whatsoever, no boundary, no wall, no division, just the perceiving, just wide open. We could say it's here somehow localized, but this seeming localization of the perceiving is edgeless, isn't it? In that sense, it has no location. For all very real intents and purposes, the perceiving is spread throughout all of the field of experiencing. It has no location. The perceiving, the notion of here and there, it's, it's, it's there's no, there's no um, division. And interestingly, whatever we perceive, whatever is perceived, 
as a as an object of perception we can explore that as well and notice we find the same complete absolute openness so feeling the body which we generally think of as encased right it's it's got a definite boundary around it right the body we're just feeling the body and notice there's no hard edges to the body the body is felt and the feeling of the body has no <laughs> it's not closed is it it's wide open the feeling the sense of what we call body the sense we may imagine the body closed like a closed loop somehow but the sense of it is completely open feeling is boundless edgeless If thoughts are occurring, again, this is what's so interesting about the field of experience is that things appear as discrete, identifiable, differentiated from phenomena that are not those things. So thoughts may appear that seem to kind of stand out as their own distinctive aspect of experience, distinct from say sounds like the sound of my voice if there's a sound of my voice and then you may have thoughts about the sound of my voice and they're distinctive right but just feel the sound for a moment any sounds and notice again they are both showing up as distinct from their context and yet the sounds are completely open right they're they are without any edge without any boundary nothing is closed the sounds are open-ended and the thoughts any thoughts about the sounds what the sounds are oh there's a thought that's the sound of john's voice or that's the sound of traffic outside those thoughts are also feel them feel the presence of those thoughts and they are like everything else we've been exploring completely open Nothing is closed. Everything mixing with everything else, everything blended with everything else seamlessly. This is the undivided nature of everything being encountered. Feel the aliveness that permeates the body, that permeates everything, the sense of liveliness, the sense of life itself, and feel, again, its absolute openness, unboundedness. And everything in its openness, body, thought, sound, energy, it's all in its absolute open-ended boundaryless edgeless nature is completely undefended there's nothing there's nothing there's nothing separating anything else there's no walls Nothing separate from, from anything. <laughs> no separation. Feel that. Feel this absolute openness of everything. How 
rich that openness is, how alive that openness is, how flowing that openness is, how ungraspable it is, and yet here at the same time, it's constantly moving and shifting and ultimately indefinable, but This is the, the, the boundless, seamless, edgeless, open-ended wholeness that includes everything that is, that is everything. This wholeness, this absolute openness. What's perceiving and everything that's perceived, this, this absolute openness, undefended. Totally relaxed. Relaxed in its openness, in its undefendedness, in its, in a sense, completely vulnerable to everything, but in another sense, invulnerable because there's nothing apart from it just one thing it's beyond vulnerable invulnerable it's utterly beyond anything we could conceive so every seeming separated autonomous aspect of this whole is actually the whole it is the expression of the whole of the totality everything is the expression of the totality there's just this open-ended wholeness being everything radiating as everything that we call thought feeling sensation perception energy forms simplicity of being this undivided being nothing is closed nothing is shut down nothing is braced against anything else there are absolutely no there are no edges to anything just notice this Just this field of experience. All this unimaginable differentiation and all the different qualities of it and dimensions of it, but all of it, this singular, inconceivable ground of being. There's no departing 
this singularity, no ever being removed from this wholeness, how could that possibly happen? We've never actually been cast out of this wholeness. There's just this wholeness that is living in and as everything. This undivided, seamless, limitless expanse. Feel the limitlessness of this expanse. And every seemingly discrete, separate, autonomous phenomena is at the same time its own limitless expanse, isn't it? Without any border or boundary or edge to it. In a very real sense, we can't feel anything but this limitless expanse. It's the very nature of feeling itself. The very nature of the feeling of the moment is limitless. Just to feel, feel the limitlessness of it, the expansive nature of it. The unbounded open-ended endless nature of it of this moment, not some other moment, but this moment. There is no other moment. 